Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have said they stand with the people of Ukraine as war unfurls in Europe. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are living in California after quitting royal duties, published a statement on their Archul website on Thursday. The couple said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and all of us at Archul stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same. Harry and Meghan's statement comes after Russia launched an invasion on Ukraine on Thursday in the biggest attack on the European state since World War II. Vladimir Putin hit the country with early morning attacks, targeting cities and bases with airstrikes in an ambush which the West feared had been coming for weeks. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensk declared martial law and has called on citizens to volunteer to fight for their country. Mr. Zelensk said, we will give weapons to anyone who wants to defend the country. Be ready to support Ukraine in the squares of our cities. Boris Johnson told ministers it is a dark day in the history of our continent following the invasion of Ukraine. The Prime Minister held a cabinet meeting on Thursday evening, which followed a Cobra meeting. Mr. Johnson told ministers Mr. Putin has launched a cynical and brutal invasion for his own vainglorious ends, a number 10 spokesman said. The spokesman said, he said the UK could be proud of the actions it has taken so far, playing a leading role in NATO, developing a tough economic sanctions package together with our allies, and providing lethal defensive weaponry to the Ukrainian government. He told cabinet that the Ukrainian military was fighting back in defiance of Putin's attempts to subjugate Ukraine. And he pointed to protests within Russia which demonstrated that Putin's actions would also face resistance from within his own country. The cabinet was also briefed by the chairman of the Joint Intelligence Committee Sir Simon Gass and the Chief of Defence Staff Admiral Sir Tony Radarkin. The spokesman added, the Prime Minister concluded by saying Putin must fail, and that the UK would work with its allies to achieve the restitution of the sovereignty of Ukraine. Earlier today, Mr Johnson announced the largest and most severe package of economic sanctions that Russia has ever seen. In a somber address to the nation at midday, the Prime Minister said the world cannot stand by and allow the freedom of Ukraine to be snuffed out amid the Kremlin's attack on democracy and freedom in Eastern Europe and around the world. He said a vast invasion has been launched by land, sea and air and innumerable missiles and bombs have been raining down on an entirely innocent population. US President Joe Biden unveiled harsh new sanctions against Russia coordinated with allies. He said, this is a premeditated attack. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. It comes as protesters have taken to the streets around the world from New York to Tokyo against the invasion of Ukraine. In the UK, hundreds of demonstrators gathered outside Downing Street on Thursday afternoon to call for more drastic action from Britain and the international community.